Hello, I'm Jason. I'm your philosopher for the afternoon. And philosophers like asking juicy questions. The sorts of questions where people think different things. Is a hole in the polo part of a polo? Well, no, it's kind of air, but it could be part of the polo because the polo circles it. That was a question that you thought different things about, yeah? <coughs> and then when you heard what other people had to say, some of you changed your minds and some of you didn't. And that's what this is all about. It's about having questions where different people think differently. I think the session this afternoon went really well. Um, the children definitely enjoyed it. They got into it straight away. They didn't hang around. Which do you think are better, boys or girls? And do make up your mind. Stand over this side for boys are better. Stand over this side for girls are better. I liked the fact that there was a sort of a variety. There were lots of different activities. The children had the chance to move around, which that particular class really liked that opportunity. What we're going to do today, to make your philosophy more exciting, we're going to take you on an alien adventure in philosophy. Um, the session, session today I thought was really good. Um, the children interacted very well and I noticed there was, a, out of about 25 of them, only two of them were quiet and didn't say anything, so that was really good input. It was nice that they all seemed quite happy to offer their um, ideas and opinions. So here's the deal, if you can persuade us that it is wrong for us to eat you, then we will let you go. Well, you shouldn't eat us because we've got siblings and mums and dads and we, we're innocent, we, we want to live a happy life. But isn't that the same for chickens or sheep or the things you eat? They, they have sort of brothers and sisters and mums and dads. They're probably quite happy doing their sheepy or piggy business. I think there's definitely a place for philosophy in the primary school because I think a lot of the time we don't step back and take the time to let them just have a discussion and to sort of um, develop those sort of wider thinking skills which obviously happens when they get into discussion and debate and um, you know volunteering their own answers to things. There aren't always right answers because um, some people might think of, uh, other things and some people might think another um, thing. And then um, there's not a yes or no answer. Would you rather have friends than be rich? Would you rather have friends than be rich? You can make friends if you're rich by like, if you give money to them, to, if they're quite poor. Um, you could be rich in two different ways. You could be rich in having things that you need, like having food and having buying drinks, and you could be rich in other ways. Um, I think some of the things that, especially the things that Jason's just done in the session now with us, but, but also with the class, they're the sort of things that I can use and adapt to anything that we're doing. And I could certainly pick up some of those activities we've done today and go straight back in tomorrow. In fact, I'm already thinking, you know, I might go and try some of those out tomorrow. So we're going to start with a quiet sort of hum and it's going to get louder and louder and louder. <laughs> and then just watch what I do. Okay, so loud. Philosophy in primary schools, I think, is a brilliant idea. It gives the children so many skills. They've got questions already, they like asking questions, but I think the sessions really help them to think around those questions and to learn how to listen to other people as well and to listen to other people's opinions and value those. So yeah, I think it's very valuable. 